Hey guys, in this video, we'll troubleshoot the error that we are going to get when I execute this piece of code. So here I have a simple case where I am populating the mandatory fields or the required fields on the case and I'm inserting that case record from my anonymous window. Let's quickly execute it and see the error that we are going to get. I'll click on execute highlighted. As soon as I click on execute highlighted, I'm getting this error which says, System.tml exception insert failed exception on row number row zero. First error insufficient access on cross reference entity. And there is an ID that is there. So, in case if you are getting this kind of an error, most of the times it is due to the ID that is not there in the system that you are using it. So, make sure that you check this ID. So, before getting into the shortcut of troubleshooting of this particular error, let's look at the debug logs that we get. So I'll open the debug log that got generated and I'll scroll down to see the exact error that we are getting here. So if you see here, this is where our error is. So the insert is failing, which is on line number four here. So that is what the debug log is saying. So this is the error that we see. Now let's troubleshoot from where exactly this issue is happening. Let's go to the top of the debug log. And if you see, we are executing this code from the anonymous window, that is fine. And if I scroll down, I'll get to see the fields that have been populated from my code, which is the status field and the origin field. If I scroll down a little bit, this is where the DML is actually starting, which is nothing but the insert that we have done from our anonymous code. If I scroll down a little bit down, that is where I see a flow that is running. So there is a flow that is running which goes with name case record trigger flow. So it has started and it has ended with an error. So what is the error that we have already seen? So that means there is something that is going wrong with this flow. So let's go ahead and open this flow and see what exactly we have. The name of the flow is case record trigger flow. I'll go to the setup, open the flow. In the setup, I'll search for the flow in the quick find. I'll open the flow and here are the list of flows that are there. And this is what the flow that I have from the debug log. So it is an auto launch flow or a record trigger flow. So I'll quickly open this one. So here is my flow. So if I go back to the debug log, there is something that is happening in the flow that is causing this error because there is nothing else apart from it that has been recorded in our debug log. So if I go back to the flow here, and in this flow, it is basically running on creation of a record, that two of type case. So which is the actual, which is the same case in our scenario also. So there is an assignment that is happening. This assignment that is that I'm doing here is assign account type. If I open this assignment operator, a quantity element, that is where I'm assigning a account ID here. So I'm assigning this account ID to the case that has been created. So I'll copy this ID and check if this ID is valid or not. So I'll go back to the ID in the URL to open that record. And if I ask the system to show me that record with this ID, that is where it is saying that looks like a problem. That means the ID that I'm assigning in my flow is not present in my org. So this is a typical reason why you would get this errors where when you see this insufficient access on this reference ID, one, check that record is present in the org or not, two, check if you have the access to that record or not. These are the few tips that you can keep in mind while troubleshooting this kind of an error. So it is always a good practice to not to hard code any IDs. If you are doing it, make sure that they are, these IDs are present in the org. That is the end of this video. Hope you have liked it. If you have liked this video, do subscribe for more such content. Hey guys, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTC Quest.